Here we have a site that displays the title and description of a list of books. When we view a post, you can see it's using the default route provided by Phoenix, with the ID of the post in the URL. This is great for getting started, but how could we make URLs that are more descriptive and SEO friendly? One way we can do this is by adding a slug. We'll create our slugs by making simple URL safe versions of our titles. So let's get started. First, we'll need to add a slug column to our posts table. We'll do that by generating a migration. Then we'll add a column named slug and set it as a string. Because we're going to use this field to query our posts, we'll add an index to our slug field to make lookup faster. Now we can migrate our database. With that, we can add the field to our post schema. And then update the cast function in our change set to allow the slug field. Now let's generate slugs for our existing articles. We'll open IEX and bring in our project. Then we'll alias our repo and post modules. Now first, let's create a function to transform our titles. We'll pass a post into it. And from there, we'll transform the title by downcasing it and then replacing any spaces with hyphens. We'll then build a change set and update the record. Now that we have our function, let's query for all posts using Ecto. And then we can call enum.map, passing in our list of posts and our function to create the slug. And great, it worked. But now that we have a slug for our posts, how do we use it? Elixir protocols are an amazing way to build polymorphic interfaces. And since Phoenix Param, the module that converts data structures into URL parameters is a protocol, we can take advantage of this and create our own implementation. We'll go to the bottom of post.ex and define our custom implementation for the post module. Now we'll define the toParam function and pattern match to get our slug. And then we'll simply return the slug to use. Now we'll update our controller to look up the post from its slug. And if we go back to our page and click on an article, you'll see the article's slug is now used in the URL. Perfect. But what about new posts? When they're created, how will posts get their slugs? Let's keep this simple and continue to generate slugs automatically from the title of our post. From our post module, we'll create a private function called slug map, which will take our existing params and pattern match off the title. We'll use this to create our slug. Since our titles are simple, we'll continue to use string downcase and string replace to create our slugs. Now this will break on the post's new action since no title will be present. Let's fix that by adding another slug map function to handle all other instances and we'll have it return an empty map. Going back to the beginning of the change set, let's merge our params with what's returned from our slug map function. One side note. For a more elegant way to generate and save slugs, I'd recommend checking out the Programming Phoenix book. I'll link to it in the episode notes below. Now we can create or update our posts, and our titles will be translated and saved as slugs. However, there's one last thing we could do to simplify our code. The Phoenix Param protocol is derivable. Let's go back to our post.ex file. Since we're using Ecto in the project, we'll need to derive the protocol before the schema. We'll call at derive, then phoenix.param, with the key option and the field we want to use, in this case, slug. We can then delete our custom implementation below. 
and if we go back to our posts, they still work. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and happy coding.